All right. So, FizzBuzz in JavaScript, what you're supposed to do is output one to uh, whatever n is and print out uh, a count of the numbers. But if the count of the number is divisible by three, print fizz. If it's divisible by five, print buzz or return buzz. Or uh, if it's divisible by both three and five, you return fizz buzz. Uh, for this uh, problem, uh, we'll jump into the editor and give it a shot. But you're supposed to return this as an array for this problem. So uh, let's hop over here to the editor. Let's see if we can get that to go all the way. So for FizzBuzz, uh, since we need to return it as an array, a lot of times I've seen this just console logging those. But since we need to return it as array, an array, we'll start by creating an array. Call it result. And then we'll do a for loop. So we're looping through here, going up to or equals n, because we're going from 1 to 15. And we're starting at 1, not 0. So then you essentially do a bunch of uh, if, else, if statements here. So as we're looping through this, we will just check to see uh, if it's divisible by 5, divisible by 3, or divisible by 3 and 5. And the trick to this is what you want to do is you want to start with the if statement, checking to see if it's divisible by uh, 3 or 5. And you can do that by just seeing if it's divisible by uh, 15. And if I said 3 or 5, it's actually 3 and 5, not 3 or 5. Or I guess it would, that's the same thing, isn't it? Okay, so if it is... We are going to use the modulo modulus here, and if it equals zero, so when i is uh, divisible cleanly by 15, then what we're going to do is we're going to push into result fizzbuzz, and then we'll just do the rest of the statements here. So else if The number is divisible by, let's see, let's do uh, three first. And we want to push into result fizz. Don't need these. Let's get rid of that. Else if the current number is divisible by 5. Let's see, result dot push. Now we want buzz. And then lastly, um, we need to remember. We need to push in the actual number, but they want it as a string. So we'll set it to a string like that. And then we have to remember to return uh, our result. So let's give this a run. Excellent. Okay, that worked. And let's go ahead and give it a submit. Awesome. So that worked, and I'm not sure if I can't. Get this to minimize here. I'll zoom out so you can see it. Anyway, you should subscribe. Hope you enjoyed.